The Dallas Cowboys lost by a score of 47 to 9 at home to the Detroit Lions a couple weeks ago. And the San Francisco 49ers are coming off a 28 to 18 home loss to the Chiefs. One of these teams is going to bounce back this Sunday. Which one's it going to be? We're going to talk about it. But before we do, I got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get the entire month of November, less than $8 a day. Details are in the ticker below. This promotion is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. That includes this guy right here. And I'm still the number one big play handicapper dating back to 2022. I'm up 249 units with my 4% and 5% plays during that span. We did lose a tough one on Thursday night with the New York Rangers in hockey. We're looking to bounce back this weekend with another 5% winner on the gridiron. As always, though, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Let's get into it. The 49ers are a four and a half point favorite. Total sits at 47. San Francisco coming off a 28 to 18 loss to Kansas City. I had San Francisco in that game, and the Chiefs fans were coming after me all week, telling me how foolish I am for betting against their team. But man, that was a perfect spot for San Francisco. But when you lose your top two receivers and you got the injuries piling up, even when Patrick Mahomes throws for 154 yards, no touchdowns and two picks, you still can't get it done at home against the Chiefs. And those injuries are extremely concerning for San Francisco. Looks like Ayuk's done for the year. Who knows if Christian McCaffrey's ever going to play again. And Mason, Debo Samuels, Juwan Jennings, George Kittle, and Nick Bosa, all questionable to play against the Cowboys. Meanwhile, the boys are coming off of a bye week. Uh, that's good news. Mike McCarthy is 3-1 and one with the Cowboys coming off a of bye week. He's 12-5 and five in his career coming off a of bye week. I'm not a big Mike McCarthy fan. I'm not a big Dallas Cowboys fan. But the boys are healthy, um, and they're getting four and a half points here. Coming off that bye week, uh, i got to take the points with Dallas. But I think the best bet could be in the player prop market. I know the props aren't for everybody, so you got you got the side. We're taking Dallas plus the points, but we're going to look at running back. Rico Dowd, I don't believe that the markets have accurately caught up to how, how good this kid is. I mean, he's he's taken over the starting job, and he, it's not like he's lighting it up, putting up huge numbers, but he's he's been productive enough. Uh, he's caught, he's yeah, he's got 131 receiving yards in six games. That's 22 yards per game, uh, and his receiving yards total for this game is set at a very low number of just 13 and a half. He's gone over that number in five straight games. That's well well below his average. Uh, he's just coming into his own, just uh, has become the RB1. I like this kid to uh, put up big numbers again on Sunday. So the play is going to be on Dallas plus the points. Rico Dowd over 13 and a half receiving yards. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.